Hi friends, I thought I am done with this okra experiment but looks like this experiment is getting restarted. Today is day 149. I am about to pull these plants out to start over this garden with a new plants or new variety. But surprisingly I see lots of growth coming from the bottom on both plants. Look at this. That's a very fresh and healthy new growth. And this is actually a lot more growth here. Now what I'm thinking is I'm going to cut the plants right above this new growth and see if this is really going to produce any okras. By the way, I just wanted to mention one more thing. I kind of ignored a couple of uh, okras on the plant. I did not harvest them and these okras developed very well and they started drying up and surprisingly I saw lots of well developed seeds in some of these okras. Let me show you this. Let me just crack it and open. Wow, look at all these well developed seeds. I can reuse these seeds to make new plants. Wow. I didn't expect that I can make the seeds. That's a lot of seeds that I can use them for multiple experiments. Now coming back to this restarting experiment, I'm going to cut these plants right above the fresh growth and I'm also going to clean up the garden. I'm not going to disturb the root system a lot. They already have a huge, huge, huge root system. Look at this. This is a really huge root system. Uh, anyway, I'm going to clean up this garden thoroughly, clean up the bowl, deep clean this bowl and uh, try to keep the root system untouched or at least uh, keep it as good as possible and let this garden go. Let's see what happens. I see some growth from the top as well. But uh, anyway, these plants are growing really fast. So I'm going to cut the plants all the way to the bottom and uh, see how that's going to turn out. Here we go. That's it. Now I am lowering the lights. As I am cleaning this garden, I just wanted to show you how nasty this pump has become. Good that I decided to deep clean this system, otherwise this plant should be growing with all this nasty stuff. Also, I am forced to remove a bunch of fruits even though I didn't want to touch them because they were going into the pump and they were also looking a little bit dull and uh, looks bad. It's day 165 and I think it is 15 days since I cut these plants and started over. One plant gave up, it didn't survive but the other one is doing really good and I even see a couple of flowers here. That's really amazing. Looks like this plant survived. Now I am going to remove this plant and I am also going to make sure it didn't damage any of the water. Yeah, This one is not showing any good progress but uh, look at this. It put lots of new roots and it is really doing very healthy. So I am going to pull this out and uh, let this plant continue in this garden. It's day 173. The plant is doing excellent and the flower boards are growing really nice. They are, looks like they are getting close to bloom. So that's really wonderful. And I also see lots of baby flower boards coming up. And I also see lots of fresh growth and multiple branches. So this plant is doing really good. This might not be as good as the initial growth, but I don't have any hopes or expectations from this plant. I just want to see what happens from this point. So whatever I get, I'm happy with it. This is purely an experiment without any hopes on the yield. Let's see where this will end up. It's day 174. I see the first flower fully opened and it started closing already. That's how the okra flowers are. They open and close just within a couple of hours. So hopefully I will be seeing a baby okra soon. And Look at those other baby flowers that are coming up. Very nice. 
it's day 179 look at this the first baby okra is coming very nice looking very healthy and so cute and look at this there's one more flower bird started blooming and all the other flower birds are coming nice on top of all this look at the growth of this plant it is coming so nice it is getting very bushy lots of side branches and i see the flower birds coming on all the branches so looks like it is going to do much better this time let's see day 193 i see one more flower actually i saw a couple of more flowers in between but uh, they are not surviving look at this one this didn't survive it's just falling off and i see one more flower just showed up and it already started closing and uh, there are a bunch of uh, flower birds one important thing is we have to keep harvesting the okras as soon as they develop as soon as they reach to a matured size if we keep the okra on the plant it will continue to take up the energy as it will turn into seeding and uh, the other flower birds or flowers don't get a chance to develop very well so it is important to harvest okras as soon as they reach to their matured size this one in fact outgrown but anyway i'm going to harvest it now so here is one more flower bird this one also didn't survive it's day 203 one more okra coming nice here and look at this one more baby okra just getting ready here it's always confusing that both baby okras and flower birds look pretty same look at these flower birds if you compare the baby okra here at the bottom and the flower bird at the top they look pretty similar so this always confuses but as i am seeing these flower birds turning into flowers and the flower being dropped i can clearly know it's a baby okra or the flower anyway so this is going really good and I don't think there will be anything new from this point. I am just excited to show you the second life of this okra and this proved that the second life is doing even better compared to the first life. Look at this how bushy this plant is getting, how many side branches and how these flower birds are coming. Look at these flower birds. One thing I learned is we must harvest the okra as soon as they get matured otherwise they end up taking lot of energy because they need to develop the seeds so they take lot of energy from the plant so always harvest the okras as soon as they are matured enough okras are always good when they are young so try to harvest them when they are young so that the plant can get lot more flower boards flowers and eventually they turn into okras all right that's pretty much thanks for watching and happy aero gardening